All right, we all know about heat and we know about humidity, but we're all talking about the heat index, and that takes some explaining. In the simplest of terms, the heat index is what the temperature feels like to the body. And it's a pretty long equation to figure out. We talked with meteorologists at the National Weather Service. They tell us the index is what you get when you combine air temperature with humidity. The humidity we are seeing right now is adding about 13 to 15 more degrees than it is normally outside. Some of the highest heat indices ever recorded was back in 1980 when we hit a heat index of 116. We matched that on Monday. Today, the National Weather Service is projecting we peak at 114. Dr. Craig Crandall of UT Southwestern specializes in thermal physiology. He says it's better to just stay inside in the air conditioning. He warns of heat cramps, heat exhaustion, even stroke, which can lead to death. And it all comes down to core body temperatures increasing. The more water in the air, that is higher humidity, the less effective that sweat evaporates. And you need to have that sweat to evaporate to cool you down. The obvious concerns are for at-risk populations like the elderly. Core temperatures for the elderly can spike a lot faster. But this heat index affects everyone. Dr. Crandall says headaches and confusion could be the first sign you're dehydrated. Get inside and get hydrated. In DFW, I'm Jobin Punnicker.